All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining in on our Hello Note 2.0 webinar. We are really excited to showcase it to you after many long years of development. So just want to start by saying, again, thank you all for taking some time out of your busy day to join us, whether you're listening in live or listening to the recording. Uh, thank you very much for taking time to listen. And we'll try to make this about an hour long. Uh, because I know it's evening time, so an hour should give us enough time to go over the webinar plus any questions that we have at the end. So um, also, that I just want to introduce myself. If you don't know me, my name is Steve Gluck. I'm an occupational therapist with a background in computer science, and I'm currently the CEO of HelloNote. So uh, just to preface a little bit, HelloNote began in 2013, um, when I started my first job as an OT in an outpatient practice, and I was really burnt out uh, by doing documentation. Um, it was not something that I uh, saw in school. Uh, school, we were very passionate about treating patients, making the lives of patients better, um, and then no one really prepared us for the amount of documentation that was going to be needed. So. I actually programmed the first version of Hello Node in my basement, and I used it for myself. It changed my life, and my PT counterpart, um, Dr. Raphael Krakonovsky, who was working with me at the time, uh, he asked me if I can adapt the same EMR that I built for myself for him, and that's really where the idea took off. Uh, so we actually only started as a documentation-only system. And then we did evolve into practice management, billing, and an all-in-one system um, because demands needed to be met by our clients. So just documentation only did not cut it. We were getting a lot of feature requests, and as technology evolves, we have to keep up with it. So that's why with 2.0, uh, we aim to have many integrations to keep up with your practice owner needs. And our goal is to truly be all-in-one, um, so we'll have enough integrations to keep up with demand, technology, so we can actually fully manage your practice. Uh, before I begin the, the webinar, also I do want to thank our amazing team for making uh, Hello Note what it is today. Our engineers worked really hard over from the beginning and for the last three years to bring out 2.0. Um, and just I uh, just want to also mention this is not just an update to Hello Note 1. A lot of people reached out to us to ask if they already were upgraded to Hello Note 2.0, uh, but no, you you will know when you're upgraded to 2.0. So it's a brand new interface. It's a brand new platform. Um, the whole backend is built from ground up, which is why it took almost three years to to get it out. Um, so also want to thank our account managers, onboarding and billing training specialists, support team members, affiliates, um, and of course our clients. Uh, without you, we would not be here. Uh, so thank you all for being Hello no clients. If you're not a Hello no client, we hope um, that you'll at least do a demo with us so you can see if it's a good fit for your practice. Um, and we, we're we very receptive to good and bad feedback uh, from the beginning. It's just how we are. That was the culture that we set. So whether bad feedback, good feedback, doesn't matter. We take it into account. We speak about it on team meetings, and we prioritize things based on needs for our clients. So we grow and scale because of our clients. And once 2.0 is launched, we will be doing a lot more in the community. Uh, it was something that we wanted to do a long time ago, um, but in 2.0, that's one of our aims. So um, let's begin. Uh, so this is welcome to 2.0 webinar. So let us begin with the next slide. So first um, is, if you haven't heard, we are doing a Hello Note launch party, a Hello Note 2.0 launch party on August 11th, uh, so it'll give you a chance to see the system, um, enjoy an atmosphere on a rooftop in Manhattan. Uh, there's gonna be food options, an open bar, um, and then we're gonna be, of course, doing um, raffle giveaways with prizes, so please make sure you click on, or you go to hellonote.com slash launch to RSVP. Um, their spots are limited because uh, the capacity of the venue does not have um, unlimited space. So please make sure you RSVP so we know which part of the event you want to attend. 
So we have some amazing speakers as well. So Rick Gawenda is going to be presenting a CEU course. So there's going to be a lot of um, compliance, um, Medicare, uh, billing, documentation, a lot of good stuff taught by Rick. And if you know Rick, you know how awesome he is. So, uh, and this will include CEUs. Uh, so there is an early bird special of 179 bucks, and that gives you access to Rick Gawenda. And on August 12th, Kara is doing her next level business networking event. That's going to give you a chance to talk one-on-one um, with breakout sessions, and Rick Gawenda will be there as well. So, uh, so that's going to be awesome. We're going to have uh, Mike Chua, uh, Melanie uh, from the Hello Note team as well. Uh, you'll also get to meet a lot of the Hello Note team members. So we do look forward to, to hanging out. So please RSVP um, because spots are limited, and we already have a lot of uh, clients that took up spots. So next is on webinar objectives. So what we what we will be going over on this meeting. So I'll be showing you the Hello Note 2.0 interface and the user experience changes. Uh, we're gonna go around the system a little bit, and I'll give you a general overview. Um, I'll introduce you to a transcription service uh, that allows you to dictate your notes, um, and then we'll talk a little bit about dynamics and our planned customization options in 2.0. Um, also, when to expect the rollout. Uh, so I, I'm actually going to talk about when to expect rollout now. Uh, so we already started releasing Hello Note 2.0 to certain clients. Um, those and they're brave clients because they uh, they they were the first ones to start using it. Uh, they're giving us a lot of feedback. So our full launch isn't until end of next month. So we do expect a full rollout with everything ironed out and all the features from 1.0 to be on 2.0 by end of August. So, uh, so there's a lot of testing going on. There's clients that are using it. So we are very careful. We're making sure we do things the right way. We're fixing whatever we need to fix. We're rolling out new updates. Uh, this way, by the time the full rollout happens, everything is good to go because we have a ton of new updates that we want to roll out, but we cannot until the full rollout happens. So that's going to be happening over the next weeks until we hit end of August. So if you are currently a Hello No client, you might have already um, spoken to some of our team members about uh, migrating over. So just continue to do that. If you're not currently a Hello No client, uh, we're going to start doing 2.0 demos as of next month. So you're going to be placed right in 2.0 from the beginning because there's no point to put you on 1.0 and then migrate you over a few weeks later. And then what to expect during the rollout. Um, so we're going to do more webinars. We're going to have, um, we're going to have video tutorials as well. Um, and I will be doing weekly trainings as well, just to make sure everyone's comfortable. As far as migration goes, so it's a pretty simple migration. There's only about five steps to follow. Because it's a brand new platform, we need to migrate your user accounts from the old system to the new system. And the way we're going to do that is by giving you a link to log in. You're going to log in once using the old method. You're going to be logged into 2.0. You're going to log out, and that's pretty much it. And the next time you log in, you're going to be prompted to change your password, and that allows the new system to absorb your user account. And from there on out, you just log into 2.0. Um, and we do have uh, a step-by-step -step tutorial on that with images. So it's pretty seamless, um, but if you need help, as always, just reach out. We'll be happy to guide you. So why Hello Note 2.0? So Hello Note 2.0, uh, it's not because we didn't want to update Hello Note 1.0. We just simply reached capacity of Hello Note 1.0. Um, you know, we, we got enough uh, clients and new clients and of course, our clients are also onboarding new therapists, and there's more documentation being done, more billing. So it did require us to have to rethink the whole system, especially because, as I mentioned before, we started out with documentation only, and then we started adding more and more features. So there's, all, there's a capacity to how much we could have added before things kind of started slowing down, breaking, and we don't want to just fix things. We want to kind of find permanent solutions for them. 
So that's why we decided about three years ago that we need we need to rethink the strategy, and that's why we started 2.0 development. So we took all that feedback we had, um, the, and there's a ton of feedback. So not everything we could have implemented in 1.0. So then we have a separate file where we kept everything for 2.0. So that's why we needed to bring out Hello Note 2.0 on a new platform and not just continue building on the old one. So we aim to make this experience uh, much better for clients. So with 2.0, you're going to have faster reporting and scheduling, uh, user-friendly interface. Uh, we're focusing a lot on client experience, which means less time clicking, less time documenting, and do more with AI. So we're going to do a lot more with artificial intelligence, and we'll work on streamlining, streamlining things. So, for example, if your patient is doing consent and intake forms, we're going to take that data and put it right into your notes. Okay, so things like that will help speed up the process. Also, we have an in-system chat option now. So that allows you to actually chat with somebody within your organization, which is really cool. Um, also, scalability. So as you grow, we need to be able to support that. And with our old system, there were limitations to that. So it's not fair to our clients that want to grow that you cannot with our system, with our old system, because we had limitations. So with the new system, it's being built to allow you to scale. And the lastly, API integrations. So being an all-in-one system, we, we simply cannot do everything. As much as we want to try to do everything, we cannot. Nobody can. Um, there's softwares out there that are, you know, specialized specifically in their domain. For example, like uh, like clearing houses or home exercise programs, credit card processing. So they they own their domain. They know what they're doing. So we don't want to be in that business. So we built out new integrations with API so we can actually integrate better with them, including billing systems. And I'll mention that in a little bit. And it's going to be seamless. So that will allow you to scale, to grow without us having to to develop and spend more time. We can just simply integrate with new partners. So what integrations can you expect from us? Uh, so we did hear you over the last many, many years and we're making it happen. So we're gonna be doing calendar integrations. Um, what that means is syncing right to your phone, like Google or iPhone, we're working on syncing. And of course, we need to make sure it's HIPAA compliant. There are going to be security measures in place website integrations. So we're going to allow us to have a widget right on your website for scheduling. So patients can come to your website and see your schedule based on your availability in your Hello Note schedule. So it'll have those options. CRM integrations. This is a big one because CRM is one of those other kind of components that we don't want to we don't want to be in because it's you know it's a separate it's a separate business. So we're going to be integrating with um with uh, some CRMs, and we're excited to launch that, and I'll speak a little bit more about that too. Uh, more home exercise program integrations. So this way you can upload more videos, have bigger libraries, things like that for your patients. Uh, more credit card processing options. That includes saving credit cards, uh, doing uh, packages, recurring, things like that. So those are just some of the integrations you can expect, and we're always adding more and accepting all feedback for more. So if you have any uh, software that you want us to explore integration with, please reach out and we will be happy to explore that. So this new version of Hello Note is yours to customize. So what do you? What do we mean by that? Um, we are trying to eliminate a lot of back and forth between our clients and ourselves. So we are going to do our best to make sure that the whole system is customized to your needs. Now, being in this business for a long time, uh, every clinic has different needs. We've gotten a lot of requests for very little things, but these little things do take development time, engineering time, QA time, testing on our end. So with 2.0, we designed it in a way that we're going to allow you to do a lot of customization on your end without having our side make changes to either your company or others whoever requested the change. So customizable templates, right? So we have uh, great templates in the system already. 
but maybe there's an extra box that you want, an extra field. Maybe there's an extra date field that you want or a drop down or something like that. So we will give you the option to customize templates. So that's going to be a really cool thing, especially if you're in a niche space. Uh, this will be really cool for you. Uh, customizable dashboard. I'll show you uh, that when I share uh, the platform. So you can customize the dashboard to your needs. So if there are certain reports that are important to you, you'll be able to customize that as well. Uh, we're going to have a trans well, we already have a transcription service. So it's a phone number you can call in. It transcribe will transcribe your note into a draft note. And then there's also going to be a tool um, that you're going to have on the browser to do that as well. And I'll talk about that later as well. Uh, new user controls. So this is another really cool thing. So a lot of times we get inquiries that you want a certain user to have specific access. So instead of us having to control that, we're going to give it up to you. So administrators, for example, if you as an administrator want a certain therapist to have access to a certain report or collect co-pays or something like that, you will have full access to do that, which is awesome because you're going to be able to control every, every point of the system will be customizable for permissions. So you can take access away, give access to different users and so on. And consent and intake forms. So even though we have consent and intake forms in the system with 1.0, um, it's not that customizable. So with 2.0, we're going to take all that feedback we have and we're going to make it much more customizable so you can actually uh, control required fields and then you can import that data right into the note. So that's going to be a really cool option. And there's a lot of upcoming features that we're excited about as well. Um, so we did have a lot of requests um, over the years of new features. Uh, one of the first things we'll showcase that's actually going to be at the launch party is a patient kiosk. So with costs rising um, and insurance is paying less, we, we understand, you know, because we also manage practices, we understand that you want to keep costs low. You have to eliminate certain costs from different angles. So with the patient kiosk feature, you can actually put this on your front desk and it automates pretty much the whole front desk for you. So patients can come in, check in, uh, they'll verify their identity, of course, they can sign intake consent forms, they can update their information and insurance. Um, it's actually going to run eligibility automatically um, for them or for you and upload it into HelloNote. Uh, they can pay their bills. Um, they can rate the clinic as well. So we're going to also work on a uh, like, like a quality assurance platform. So you'll be able to see based on your client's feedback where you need improvement or where you're doing great in. So that's going to be really cool. So uh, next is mobile app for Android and iPhones. Um, so this is something we've been getting requests for a long time. Uh, back when we started Hello Node. Nobody really cared about doing notes on a phone. Um, everything was all about computer or laptops, but as technology evolves, devices got smaller and smarter. So we are adapting that, and we're going to be building out uh, mobile apps um, for Android and iPhones uh, to streamline documentation, scheduling, and things like that. We're going to be incorporating artificial intelligence into documentation and billing. Uh, so we actually uh, have, uh, I think it's in the, coming up in the next slide or so about AI billing, managed billing uh, from one of our new partners, uh, transcription service as well, and then a community hub. So as I mentioned in the beginning, we do want to focus more on the community because with the community is how we grow, uh, not only we from Hello Node, but I mean as therapists. So, and at the end of the day, we, we care about our patients, right? That's, who we really care about. That's why we do what we do as therapists. So we believe in community. So we're going to have a community-driven hub where you can share different templates, ideas, care plans, things like that. So, uh, so that's going to be really, uh, really cool. Um, so we we do have billing, of course, in our platform. Um, but we partnered with Athelis, which is an amazing billing company. Um, and you'll see why I'll show you that in uh, when I showcase um, the 2.0 a little bit. Um, it's going to speak for itself. Um, there's there's so much data 
in, in Atalus, and they do an amazing job with making sure that your billing is managed properly. Um, so it's an exclusive integration. Um, so if you're interested in that, I highly recommend you uh, join us on a webinar that we'll have next week. Okay, it's going to be specifically on Atalus, including uh, differences versus, like with current billing companies and why Atalus is different. Um, we actually have Greg Martinez on with us. He's going to speak a little bit later. I'll introduce him to give you a little uh, overview on what Atalus is, uh, how they're different, and how they can make your business better. Uh, so yes, you can manage your billing with Atalus. It's a modernized approach for outsourced billing. Um, Tons of detailed reports. You know, I'm, I'm very excited to to have this integration because uh, you'll see just just why it makes sense. Uh, and uh, visibility of receivables in real time. So no need to wait uh, days or weeks for receivables. Everything is right in the system, and it's integrated directly into Hello Node, which is awesome. So I do have this link right here. Um, I will share, of course, this webinar and the slides, but it's a really simple URL, hellonote.com slash Atalus. Uh, so you can go there, just uh, fill out uh, your, your name, your email. Uh, there's a, I believe there's a question of how you're doing billing now and register. And we'll send you um, the link. And of course, it will be recorded as well if you cannot join uh, next Tuesday. So that was it for slides. I don't want to keep you waiting uh, longer. I want to make sure we go into the system and showcase it and maneuver around a little bit. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I do want to also mention that, and I think I did, Lisa is one of our par partner relation managers. Um, so she's going to help me answer. There's a lot of questions that are coming in already. So she's going to help me answer some of them. Uh, and I do want to make sure that we get to all the questions. And if you do have questions, please put it in that Q&A. Okay, so on the Q&A, uh, there is an option on the Zoom. Just click on it. You can type in a question. Lisa will be answering it throughout the webinar. Um, and if she doesn't get to it, I will answer questions at the end as well. All right, perfect. So I'm going to close out my slides. And here we are with Alono 2.0. So upon logging into Hello Note 2.0, just like we do with 1.0, you get presented with a dashboard. So the dashboard here I mentioned is customizable. So if you notice on the top right, there's something called edit mode. So if I click on that, and I'll just give you a quick example. So I'll press add widget. And for example, I want to add my draft note summary. And you could see it added here. And I could also drag it around. I can move it to different places. I can make it larger or bigger, which is pretty cool. So if you have like five reports you want here that you don't care about the other reports that we kind of uh, put in 1.0, um, and they were static there, meaning you can't change them. So here you can actually move them around. You can change them and so on. So this is really cool. Um, and then, of course, you can save it or revert to default, and it's going to bring you back to the normal view. So this is just one example of the customization that we will have. If I simply press save, it's going to reload for me. And now every time I log in, this is going to be my view. So let's talk about the interface a little bit. Uh, so if you're used to Hello Node 1.0, uh, you know that on the top we had the navigation buttons. So that included the patient, the schedule, the billing, all of that. So in Hello Node 2.0, uh, one of the things we wanted to do is maximize the screen space, okay? So that's why on the left side, when you put your mouse over the little bar on the left, it's going to expand the menu here. So the main navigation bar is now on the left side. So you can see here it has dashboard, patient, schedule, and so on. So if I click patients, it's going to bring me right to my patient list. If I put my mouse back over on the left, and it will expand, they can go back to dashboard and so on. So, so that's one of the main differences. Uh, the layout is a little bit different, uh, but we needed to do this to expand on the screen space. And the reason is we want to incorporate as much fields as possible without having to kind of scroll down, scroll up, and so on. So you have a lot of good width here. On the top, you do have some buttons here as well. 
So if you see here, there's, there is a language option. Um, so, you know, if you have, if you're comfortable with a different language or so on, you can change languages here. There is a really cool bell with an alert here. So if you know on Hello Note 1.0 on the right side, there's a little event reminders there. So that's actually replaced with kind of this, um, you can think of it like a social media notification icon. So if I click on it, it's going to give me all my notifications. I can mark things as red. Um, I can click on the data. It'll show me whatever notification that I had. Also, not all the time, you, not every day you log into Hello Note, for example, right? So we're actually linking this to emails. So it'll summarize all your notifications for the day in an email as well. So that's going to be really, really cool. So uh, think of notifications also, like if you have, uh, plan of cares that are that are due, if authorizations are about to expire, uh, patient events, any reminders that you want to set, um, instead of you having to scroll down or view them on the dashboard, you'll have an indicator here with however many reminders for the day. And if I click set as red, you'll see here that it's going to decrease that count for me. Um, and of course, if there's no reminders, it'll not have this yellow circle. To the right of that, we have our chat option, which is really cool. Um, this was actually one of the most requested features we've had um, for a long time. So with this chat, you can actually communicate with any user within your organization. Uh, so for example, I, I already have some samples here that I did. So think of it as like an instant message, direct message application. It's HIPAA compliant. Um, and on the bottom here where I can type my message, I can attach documents, I can attach pictures, and then there is this cool link option. So this actually links directly to the uh, current page, okay? So if I click on it, for example, it's going to here send that link directly in the message. And that is important. And the reason it's important is because we, we did not have this option in 1.0. So if you look on the URL bar on the top, you can see here that as I navigate the system, the URL changes automatically, and that includes patients. Okay, so that means every aspect of the system has a unique URL. And because we use patient ID numbers, it makes it HIPAA compliant. So this way you can share that link, um, especially in the chat or with our support team. So it's gonna be really, uh, really useful. So uh, we do have light and dark mode as well. Um, you know, sometimes doing notes at night with the with the lights off, you want to use dark mode um, and light mode otherwise. So on the right side, you'll also to the right of that, you'll see here it's going to log your username. So if I click on that, this is exactly where you can change your password. You can see login attempts, change your profile pictures, some visual settings, and log out. Okay, so that's a little bit different than in Hello Note 1.0. On the right of that, I do have uh, my current office, which is demo new. So this is uh, similar as we have on 1.0. You'll be able to switch your, uh, your current location. So looking on the left side now, you'll see the patient list. So we try to keep as many components as possible very similar. So we don't, of course, we, we have a lot of great feedback um, as far as our user interface and making things very user-friendly. So we wanted to retain that. So you'll notice a lot of components are very similar. Um, because the layout is wider, there are some organizational changes, but, but essentially um, you can you probably will find your way around. So I'll go over some differences um, as well. So patient list here. Um, so again, very similar. If I click on the patient, it'll just reload the patient data. So no need to go through multiple screens. I can search my patient list. Of course, I can do, I can filter out based on statuses. So if I wanted to only see anyone on home care or waiting authorization um, or all active patients, I can do that. Um, I can also filter out patients with cases, my patients only. I do have that memo box here. Um, so same as 1.0, you can use this for your own personal notes to not have to use sticky notes or anything like that. Uh, and this is only for your user account meaning nobody else will, will be able to see your memos. So to the right of that, uh, this is the main uh, screen here where it, holds, where it holds the demographics. So if I scroll down here, you'll 
Again, this should be very similar to 1.0. Uh, but one main difference here is on the top, you'll see the sub navigation buttons are different. Okay, so currently I'm on the patient information tab. So you could see that it's highlighted here. If I click insurance, if I click on payments and so on, it'll reload right away just as it does with 1.0. So below that, here are your action buttons for sending intake and consent forms, home exercise program, uh, referral request, um, sending review link for the patient, enrolling patient in the patient portal, printing the face sheet. And this button is new here. This is the create event button. So normally when you want to create an event for a patient, you would scroll down and then you would have a button next to events to add a new event. In Hello Note 2.0, uh, this one is more prominent. You don't have to scroll down. You just simply click Create Event. It's going to give you a pop-up. You select the event type, the status. Uh, you select your reminder date. And again, keep in mind, this date that you put here, this is where that notification will come in handy. It'll give you a notification that uh, this event is due, and you'll get it in the email as well. You could also tag any other users to this event, just in case you wanted to remind somebody on something, and of course, put in the description. So that's one of the bigger kind of changes we have here. Also on the right side, when you click edit, you'll see here it's a save or cancel, and there's no add new button because the add new patient button is now above the patient list. So if we go on the patient list here, you'll see there's a green little um, um, person icon with a plus. That's how you add a new patient. And you'll see here, there's also a magnifying glass. So this is gonna be a really cool update because it will allow you to search patients by date of birth, um, phone numbers, emails, including your affiliated offices. So if you have multiple locations, you can use this to search. Uh, so for example, if I click on it, you're gonna see here, you can search by a keyword and it's gonna tell you which office it's um, the patient is in, so on. So that's uh, a really nice change. Otherwise, of course, you can search just by patient ID number so or patient name. And if you look above where it says the patient, you'll see in parentheses, there's this number. So this is actually the new patient ID number. So the old patient ID numbers were smaller, um, but again, because we're working on scaling, uh, the patient ID numbers are more randomized uh, for security, and they're a bit longer, uh, but they work the same way. And old Hello Note 1.0 patient ID numbers will migrate over to 2.0, meaning you won't have a new patient ID number for that. This is only for new patients. So old patients will have the old ID number because we do want to preserve all of the data um, and integrations that we have with patient ID numbers from the prior system. And then the new patient ID number will be for any new patients that are added, but they will work the same way. So. Uh, so back to the right side, I do have an option to cancel or save. That's very similar to Hello Note 1.0. And uh, if you notice, we added some new categories here. So we have uh, something called patient checklist. So on Hello Note 1.0, we do have these same buttons, review left, completed intake consent forms, no mail. So these are kind of just static options that we have on 1.0. With 2.0, you'll notice there's a new add button. So this is a new coming soon feature. So we're actually going to give you the opportunity to add more items to the patient checklist. So if you wanted something, for example, like check eligibility, you can have that. So it's a great way to keep your uh, workflow and office flow from forgetting to do certain things for the patient. So that's a really cool um, upcoming option to add new options for patient checklist. And uh, appointment reminders, uh, so that's similar as well, except we organized it a little better. And if you also notice, there's a new option that's coming soon for phone calls. Um, again, this is optional. So if you wanna use emails, SMS, phone calls, or all of the above, you're just gonna check it off and it will, it will send off. So that's a little bit about um, the organization change on the patient information. Um, so next tab is the insurance tab. So not much difference here currently. There will be a few updates here, including the ability to add uh, multiple primary and secondary tertiary insurances based on different cases and dates. So for example, if a patient has a change of insurance, 
uh, you'll be able to store multiple insurances and the system will adapt it based on the date of the change. Uh, check eligibility, um, as you know, in Hello Note 1.0, we do have a check eligibility uh, feature right in Hello Note. Um, so it's good. we're also bringing that over to Hello Note 2.0. Um, it's not in, the, in my current version, uh, but next month we should have that. Next tab is the payments tab. So very similar to 1.0, except here you actually have a nice grid where you can see all of the visit types and the amounts and comments in one area. So instead of you having to switch it up just to see what the comment is or the amount is, you can see it right here in a nice grid. Also, you'll see here on the right, there is a payment option. So you can click on that payment, you can put in the credit card number, and we are going to have an integration to store multiple credit cards. Um, we are linking with uh, Card Connect. So we're gonna pull all that data into Hello Node so you don't have to re-input credit cards or anything like that. Um, also, we have a feature where you can add the processing fee right to the patient. So if you have, for example, a 2.9% processing fee, and you want to pass that along to the patient, as long as you, of course, have it in your consent forms and the patient is aware of that, uh, it'll process with that additional charge, uh, which is actually getting a lot popular now. Next tab is the visits and receipts tab. Uh, so again, very similar. Uh, if I click on another patient, for example, it'll reload it. So one main difference that you'll see on Hello Note 2.0 versus 1 is the action button is now on the left side. So instead of being on the right side like we currently have in 1.0, the action button is on the left, uh, but it works the same way. So for example, if I click on it, you're just gonna have apply payment, auto balance, charge credit cards, send the payment link, delete the visit. Um, and if I click apply payment, for example, this is where you can post your payments and so on. So again, very similar. Uh, another difference is if I click on a visit, it's gonna highlight in blue, but I don't have to multi-click, meaning I don't have to hold down control to select another visit. I can simply click another visit and it'll select it for me. So I can kind of click on click as needed without needing to hold control, which is what you have to do now in Hello Note 2.0. Uh, that's of course, if you wanna print multiple visits. So otherwise it's very similar. Um, and on the top right, you'll see there is a print option. So if I click print, I still can print uh, the, visit, the receipt or invoices, the scheduled visits, the super bill, and so on that is still available here. So next tab over is the notes tab. So for example, let me find a quick patient example. So if I click on this patient, for example, and I go to actions, also, one difference, again, is there's an action list. And you're going to see that throughout the system. So instead of utilizing buttons, um, we're now doing action list. And the reason for that is it's going to allow us to, instead of running out of space with buttons because we want to add a new feature, the list will allow us just to add a vertical button instead of a horizontal bulky button like we currently have. So the action button will have open the note list, update the case, discharge case, CPT setup, and so on. So if I click actions and I go to view note list, it's going to open up my notes for this patient. And then from here on the right side, also notice I have the action button. So if I click actions, I have the same kind of list as we have in 1.0. Um, so it's very similar, okay? Um, otherwise here, very similar. Um, the attendance options here are below, so you might notice that's a little bit different. And the reason we did that also is because we plan to use this space to give more details about authorizations. So that's why we have a little bit more room here. So I'm gonna go back to the case list just for a moment. So if I click actions again, um, and I click update case, this is our case settings. Okay, so once again, very similar, except we utilize, instead of having one item per, uh, per column, now we can utilize more. So you have all these options to update the case settings. And as I mentioned with customization, uh, we will allow you to add new profiles. So currently we have default, pediatric, sensory, basic billing. 
Uh, so we will be updating the system over the course of the next few months to allow for custom templates. So we'll call them profiles. So if you want your own specific template with boxes that you only want, you'll be able to have that. And with your consent, you'll, you will be able to share that in the community hub. So that's going to be really exciting. So once I close out of this, um, the add button is on the top right. So if I click add, it will open up my new case. So again, very similar. You're just going to put in everything. So one thing you, you can notice right away is that there's a few highlighted fields in red. So with Hello Note 2.0, we're working a lot with validation. And what that means is that instead of you forgetting to put something in and pressing save, it's going, it's not, in Hello Notes 1.0, you have to press save in order for it to give you a little error. In 2.0, we're going to highlight things in red. Just this way, you're aware exactly of what, what is required. So, for example, if I put in here webinar, you'll see here that it takes the red away. So, I'm good to go on that. And then I go to primary insurance. I select this. That goes away and so on. So, that's validation, which is something new for Hello Note 2.0. Otherwise, if we go back to view note list, I go down here. Action button, again, very similar. You can print notes, you can send us fax, you can require a cosign, and so on. So I'm just going to open up this note uh, just to show you the capabilities. So again, you'll see very similar. Uh, the layout is as much, we, can, we tried to keep it as much as possible the same, uh, but again, we wanted, to, uh, we wanted to utilize the space that we had, the width, so we did things more side by side. Of course, you can expand things, uh, autocomplete is here, everything as we had on 1.0. Same thing for switching tabs. You know, so you'll see a lot of similar components here. Billing, all of this stuff is, is similar. So going uh, back to the top, the next tab is the Documents tab. Um, so with Documents tab, you'll see here there's an Upload option on the top. If I click on it, Instead of having upload document directly on the page, uh, we utilize more pop-ups. And the reason is because it's more responsive for different devices. So if you're on an iPad or a tablet, a uh, phone or anything like that, uh, this works much better because it's going to bring it up in full view for you. Um, so let me go to the next tab here with the signature. So same thing here. If you are a mobile therapist, and we do have a lot of mobile therapists, uh, we have a lot of hybrid clinics. So in Hello Note 1.0, you do have a signature option, uh, but with 2.0, if I click new, it gives you this whole space for the patient to sign, and it's going to fill your whole screen, which is really nice as opposed to having to zoom in or anything like that. So this is still an option here. Also, I was recently told that, um, that some insurances are are actually wanting more signatures and time in, time out, plan of cares, things like that. So, uh, so we are always updating, listening to make sure that we can make our system as defensible uh, and compliant as possible. So this way, if there's an audit, you don't lose out on any um, on any money. So that's the patient information. Um, oh, sorry, the patients tab. So very similar layout. A lot of this should be familiar. Uh, if you use 1.0. So if we go to the schedule, uh, so we adapted the schedule a little bit. Uh, so it's going to be, it's still going to be updated more because we're going to categorize based on therapists. So there's a lot of cool updates going to happen for the schedule, including syncing to your phone. Uh, so you'll be able to sync um, like the appointments and things like that into the phone. So that's nice. Um, otherwise, very similar. You have uh, you have the option to customize background colors. You have icons here. If you put your mouse over the patient name, you'll have a little gray pop-up um, to show you whatever you know, case uh, details you have, how many visits. And on the bottom here, we still have these icons. Uh, one update that we're looking forward to, which again has been a high request of us that we could not do on Hello Note 1.0, is to open up a note directly from the schedule. So we actually now, because of the URLs, we are able to do that. So for example, if I click on open case, you see here, it pretty much didn't even have to cycle me through any tabs. It brought me right into the case. So we're going to have an update 
for you to click open note and it's going to pre-fill the note based on the time in that you already have, um, whichever therapist, whichever diagnosis codes, and so on. So it'll be really, really cool. So going back to the navigation bar, um, so if you notice the top three um, menu items on the top, they don't have this arrow like billing, reports, faxes, settings, and so on. And that's because these don't have, they're not collapsible, there's just one link. But for example, if I go to billing, you'll see here that I'll drop down some new menu items. So if you're doing in-house billing and you're using Hello Note to bill, so if I click claims, I can go to ready to send and it's gonna load up all the claims and of course send it over to the clearinghouse. So nothing really changed from here. You can see everything is very similar, um, except on the top right, you have the generate and the batch audit options instead of being more on like the middle of the screen. So, uh, so also audited, submitted, that's all here. So also with the transaction report, you have that. And if I go to import, you'll also have a little drop down. If you, for example, like ERAs will automatically come to Hello Note. Um, and that's also one of the changes that we're going to have. We're actually going to be pulling ERAs into Hello Note from the clearinghouse without you having to manually do that, which is going to be awesome. So it's going to save you a ton of time on posting. And below that, you also have a Thales AI. So I'm really excited to showcase this. So let me show you guys this. So this is the new integration we have with the Thales. So again, the Thales is, uh, they do manage billing, um, but they do a beautiful job with it because they have a dashboard. And being a technology company, you know, we do look for things like this where things make kind of make sense. Um, and give you options for running different reports and filtering and so on. So if you could see here, um, they give you just a dashboard of like your practice insights, how many, how much money is coming in, your increase compared to, for example, last week and so on. Um, if I scroll down, you can see this beautiful charting, uh, historical payments, like this is really cool. It gives you a lot of insurance metrics as well. So how, how many days it took you to get paid, top three insurances, approval rating, things like that. So there's a ton of data here. Um, if I wanted to go to, for example, revenue analysis, you could see here, I can, you know, I can pretty much see everything I need based on the months. Um, you can also filter things out based on insurance, CPT codes, uh, just, just a lot of cool stuff here. Um, you know, that's why we have a webinar next week with Greg uh, specifically on Atalus because he's going to go over. Uh, and again, this is, he also wanted, he's also a physical therapist, just so you know. Um, so he's going to go over why Atalus is different and how they are looking to change um, kind of the, the managed billing aspect of the business. So, so definitely highly recommend signing up to that. Hellonote.com slash Atalus next Tuesday, uh, seven o'clock Eastern. So we'll go over that. Um, just to scroll down here a little bit, um, so you can see like claims, again, all charges amount, the status of the claims, and everything is in real time. So you don't have to wait for emails or anything like that from the biller. You can see here right on the dashboard, and it's perfectly integrated into, into our system. So this is really, really cool. So back to the uh, navigation bar. So if I click on reports, the so same concept, it's going to expand our reports. Uh, I'm not going to go over every single report here, but just to give you an example, um, if I go to the referral report, right, and let's say I want to see all my referrals from January, right? So once again, the generate button is now on the top right. So here we go. It's going to show me all my referrals for the per month, okay? And if I wanted to switch that to referral source, I just change my chart type to by physician, press generate. And now I can see exactly which provider is giving me the most referrals, the least referrals, and so on, based on the data that you put in. Also, just to make a point, you can filter this by referring provider or by initial referral. So if you're paying a marketing company or you're doing Google ads or Facebook ads or a friend referred or something like that, you can put that all in our system and run reports based on that too. So it does not have to be a specifically a... Uh, a medical provider referral. You can do a lot of uh, cool stuff here. So that's an example of reports. And as always, you do have export to Excel as an option. 
So those, uh, so that will be an option for every report as well. So next, of course, we have faxes similar to what we have in 1.0. Uh, so if you wanted to see all the faxes that you have sent, including the status, you can see that from here. Um, also, pagination is different in Hello Note 2.0. So if you look on the bottom right, and this happens with all reports, all like visits and receipts, the notes, you'll see this here. So if I don't want to see 10 at a time, I want to see 50 or 100, I simply just click and it loads it up right away. You know, so so again, this is much, much quicker and smoother on 2.0 than on 1.0, where we only give you about 10 or 20 records per row. So here, much, much better. Uh, we also have incoming faxes, of course. So we have the integration where faxes come over into Hello Note, um, and then you can upload them directly to the patient chart without having to download it. Uh, one feature we we are adding actually is renaming faxes. So you'll be able to rename them and mark them as kind of red um, and new and things like that. Um, so that's something different. Uh, so we do have settings, of course, in Hello Note 2.0, similar to what we have in 1.0, um, and then you'll also see here there's a new administration option. So with administration, you do have a lot more customization for roles and users. So what that means is therapists can now, you can, you'll be able to add therapists without having to reach out to Hello Note, right? So if you wanted to add a new user, just do it yourself. We're working on the integration with our payment system, which is awesome. So this way you'll have in the administration a list of your invoice so you can see exactly what, what you're being charged, uh, how many notes, for example, like if you have part-time therapist versus full-time, the system will do that for you. It'll scale it up and down as needed, uh, which is a big feature we're looking forward to. Uh, you'll be able to add new users, remove users, uh, patient, uh, sorry, therapist signatures are going to be done right in Hello Note without needing a form. So they'll be able to sign it. We're going to also add an update to stamp the NPI and their credentials to it. So that is uh, that is also some upcoming stuff. So um, on the bottom left, you'd still have our help button. So this is linked to our ticket system. So if you need to reach us, um, you can, of course, call us, email us, or use this help button. So you can reach our support team from here. So overall, that's, um, that's a little bit about 2.0, just an overview, a basic overview. We're going to be doing more webinars to go more into detail. Uh, we're going to try to organize it in a way where uh, like, there's going to be a specific session just on documentation, specific session on uh, the schedule, specific session on reports, things like that. So definitely uh, look out for some emails on that. And uh, from here, um, I do want to thank everyone for, for joining in. Um, I do want to get to some questions. Before I get into questions, I do want to introduce Greg from Atelis. Um, so I want him to just speak a little bit about um, how Atelis is different. So let me pull that back up here. Um, so let's see here. Greg, if you... And unmute. Oh, I'm going to ask you to unmute. Just introduce yourself. Uh, give a little overview on Atelis, and then we'll get to the questions that everyone had. Yeah, perfect. Uh, thank you so much, Steve. Uh, so, like Steve said, I'm a physical therapist. Uh, I've practiced in um, outpatient private practice for uh, about nine years, um, and just. Like Steve has highlighted, there's just been some, some challenges in our field currently. Um, for me personally, uh, practicing, I think there were two main areas that caused obviously some frustration and, and, and I'm honestly potentially some burnout in myself. One was just not getting paid fairly for the work that I was doing and the, the care that I was providing and two was spending so much time at night documenting um, on, the, on the work that I was doing. So um, I think what inspired me to, to try to make a, a transition to a company like Athelis was that uh, we have tools in, in AI and automation to improve the chances of, of providers like ourselves getting paid fairly for the work that we're doing. Um, insurance companies are now using AI themselves. There's a, a report out that shows that um, 
current payers can actually deny claims at one, so a claim every 1.2 seconds. They actually last year denied, uh, one payer denied 300,000 claims over a two month period and only 5% of those are resubmitted by, by practices. Um, we're overwhelmed and there's not enough bandwidth to keep track of everything we need to do on a daily basis. And so what Othellus does is it helps create processes, um, rules engines and systems with technology to make sure that we as providers can focus on what we care about most, which is giving good care and being involved in the day-to-day -day, uh, treatment side of things. Um, as far as documentation goes, it's something we can definitely talk about more on the webinar next Tuesday, but we also have an additional tool, it's called Scribe. Um, basically the function of Scribe is that you can push play or record as you walk into um, a treatment session, like an evaluation with a patient, um, the tool will actually record your entire conversation with the patient. It will differentiate your voice versus the patient. Um, it will then transcribe the entire conversation and summarize it into a SOAP note and then recommend CPT and ICD-10 codes that you can use um, based on, on, again, the context you give it. Uh, you can, of course, then review the note and copy and paste it into Hello Note, but uh, that would live inside of, of this tab as well. So um, those are just some general highlights, but of course there's much more to this. Um, and that's why we have this webinar set up for next Tuesday to, to dive into the details and to outline uh, a little bit more what this, this system looks like, feels like, and the advantages that um, it brings to us as providers so that we can have AI and technology to fight uh, what, what's going on with the, the payers out there currently. So we can be, uh, again, fairly, fairly reimbursed for the work that we're doing. So excited to, to show you guys a little bit more next Tuesday. Awesome. Thank you very much, Greg. Appreciate that. So I, I also want to kind of reiterate. So AI right now is becoming very prominent, right? It's, uh, it's not just your old AI systems where it's kind of based on workflows, if then statements. Uh, AI right now is very, very complex and it's amazing what it's doing. So if you've ever, for example, used ChatGPT, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's, it's amazing. And we're gonna be integrating with also AI um, components to the system for documentation because it, it's truly a game changer. So there's gonna be a lot of AI things to look out for. Um, and with Atalus, with their, uh, with their integration with AI and billing based on AI, it's going to decrease the amount of denials, increase your revenue in turn. So, so really look out for that. So, uh, so I'm excited for that as well. So thank you, uh, Greg. So there's a few questions um, that there are a lot of questions. Lisa, thank you for answering a lot of questions during the webinar. Uh, there seems to be a few questions that are still uh, not answered. So, so I will go through them. Um, so let's see, does Atalus replace Ability? So yes, Atalus is a managed billing service. Uh, what that means is if you are doing your in-house billing, you could still do in-house billing. But if you are at a point where you no longer uh, feel like billing is something you want to do, uh, definitely explore the option of managed billing. Okay, there's always pros and cons, uh, but definitely it's worth the conversation. So, uh, so reach out to Greg. Uh, View the webinar next week, and we'll go over some main differences. But yes, Atelis will replace Ability if you're going to be using Atelis for billing. If you're not looking for managed billing and you want to keep things as is with Ability, which is, by the way, now called the Novalon, uh, you, of course, can do that as well. Um, another question is, how will costs compare with current costs? Will transcription and Atelis change costs? So Atelis, again, is a managed billing service, so they have their own costs. So Greg can go over that on next week's webinar, or if you want to reach out uh, to him, um, then you can definitely do that. Um, as far as cost with HelloNote, so our existing clients, of course, we are not uh, changing pricing. You're, you're going to retain all pricing. Again, as technology changes, we have more integrations coming. For new clients, we, we may up the price. We don't know yet. It just really depends on on what's going on as far as our integrations and our server costs and things like that. But 
Uh, but we're all, we've always been transparent. We have never raised costs up until up until this point. Um, so so we hope to still be on that path. Um, but you know we're always we're grateful to our existing clients, and we'll do our best to make sure that costs are maintained as well. Uh, so another Dallas, how is a Dallas different from Ability? So again, a Dallas is managed billing. So if you are going to sign up to a Dallas, you do not need Ability or any other clearinghouse because they will do your billing. Um, then can you add new physician information as you are putting in a new patient without having to go to the physician section first? So yes, there are, and, and I do remember this feedback that we already have on the pipeline. So remember we... Uh, so ne uh, end of next month, we plan to have our full rollout. What that means is that we need to iron out any issues that are currently in 2.0, okay, because we're still in our soft rollout stage, and make sure that all the features from 1.0 are on Hello Note 2.0, okay? So that's our main focus right now, and we're hoping that's going to happen by end of next month, and that means all clients are going to be migrated by the end of next month. Okay, so that's that's what we're aiming for. That's our target. So this specific feature about adding physician information right in the patient information, yes, that is something that is upcoming. Uh, do the memos populate in a to-do list? No, so memos is just your kind of personal bank of what's going on. If you wanted to populate in a to-do list, uh, definitely something we can explore. Maybe maybe not call it memos. Maybe maybe we have a separate section for to-do list. Uh, just send us uh, an email. We'll collaborate. Uh, and that's also what we like to do. We don't like to just take a feature and put it, you know, give it to our engineering team and it never goes anywhere, right? We want to discuss the feature because we want to make sure it's done right and we understand the value of it because our whole system was actually built based on real feedback, right? So, which is awesome uh, because it really means that somebody's idea from New York somebody else in Florida or Texas, California, or wherever will also benefit from it. So, uh, so yes, so please reach out to us with any feature requests and we'll be happy to explore that. Um, another question is, it looks like a lot of work, uh, I'm excited about 2.0 as it looks like a lot of work. It's disappointing it wasn't made to be responsive to screens as small as mobile phones. Any timeline on this? So I just wanna, um, I think I'm gonna share my screen again, just so you could see. Um, so even on a mobile phone, it's and I've adapted my screen so you could see how it looks on a mobile phone. So it should be responsive enough to be perfect on your phone, okay? So you should still have that capability. Um, so if I, you know, wherever I want to go, I should be able to have a responsive uh, version of Hello Note. Um, is it going to be perfectly matched to your phone? Um, maybe not perfect, but our intention was at least 90% for it to be usable. Um, but this is why our app is coming out, because apps were designed specifically for phones and tablets and things like that. So when the app is going to come out, it's going to be hopefully closer to the end of the year. Uh, once we do the full rollout, we have a lot of stuff to do on 2.0 first before we, we focus on the app. But yes, it will, it will be out and it'll make things much, much easier. Um, another question is, can we run super bills and how will this work? So yes, even in Hello Note 1.0, you can still run uh, super bills. Um, if you if you need kind of guidance on that, just let us know, and we will uh, we'll look we'll look into it for you to make sure that you know exactly how to run it. Uh, but as far as formatting goes, yes, it should run it uh, based on whatever's in your documentation. Um, let's see here. Um, so will therapists who need screen readers be able to navigate Hello Note 2.0 using screen readers? So yes, intention is yes, because the platform we built us on is a new kind of innovative platform. So it should be able to handle that. Um, but definitely reach out to us. We'll do some testing. We'll adapt it as we need. In the therapist invoice, there uh, is there a reason it doesn't transfer the rate in currency? We have to change each row to currency in order for it to add the column. So I think um, I think the question is more about when you export it to Excel because there is currency on the PDF and there is currency on the grid. Uh, when you export to Excel, it does um, it does change it a little bit. So maybe that's what you mean, but that's no problem. We can we can definitely update that. Um, and I believe this is already on our update list. I remember this from a 1.0 inquiry. 
Um, there's also um, a question about Atelus, what size, uh, I guess, and revenue Atelus support. So Atelus will be able to answer that better than us. So that's something Greg can speak about next week. Um, let's see. So will therapists in the same company be able to edit their templates to be different than one another with 2.0? Or each therapist will still have the same start and end time? Um, so templates in 2.0 um, will be a little bit, I mean, it'll be based on the same as we have now, but it's going to be a little bit different because we're going to allow you to save it to different banks. So what I mean by that is if you're a therapist and you did a template, you have the option to either save it for your own bank, meaning nobody else has access to it. You'll be able to share it with your clinic. And then the third option is you'll be able to share it with our community hub. So that means other therapists from different clinics will have access to it. So yes, um, the idea of templates is going to be similar, but you will have different options for, uh, for sharing it, whether it's to yourself, to your clinic, or kind of globally to other clinics around. Um, is there an additional cost for Atelis? So yes, Atelis is a different company. Um, so they have their own separate cost. Um, so make sure you reach out to them. You can uh, you can come you can kind of compare cost and you could see if it's uh, worth it for you based on where you are in your business. When will the mobile app be available? Um, so again, our main focus right now is ironing everything out in Hello Note 2.0, meaning make sure it's smooth, no no bugs bring everything over from Hello Note 1.0 to 2.0. And from there, we're going to work on the mobile app, um, as well as the patient kiosk feature that I mentioned. Um, so there's, uh, there's a lot to look forward to. Um, again, we, we're doing our best. Our engineers are amazing. Uh, they're doing their best, but we also don't want to rush it because um, you know, we don't want to have any issues just because we launched, um, fully launched or released the mobile app without testing. Will clients be able to store their credit card in 2.0? Yes, they will. So that's one of the new integrations. So clients will be able to store their credit card and you can recharge them um, with a click of a button if you want to. Does Athelis use Ability as their clearinghouse? If no, then the plan will be for their team to assist with enrolling clinics with payers in the new clearinghouse. So yes, Athelis does work with a different clearinghouse. Um, they're not gonna be using Ability or Novalon. Um, but yes, they will help you with enrolling and EDIs, ERAs, all of that. Does Hello Note 2.0 include messaging clients within the platform? Yes. So this is that chat feature uh, that I showed in the beginning. So you will be able to chat with either patients or therapists or administrators, whoever you want within the system, which is a really nice addition. Um, and also you'll get an email with um, with that as well. So for example, if you got a message and you weren't online in Hello Note, you'll get an email notification. Uh, what are the, some of the CRMs you integrate with? So this is actually a new integration that we're working on. Um, and the CRM we're gonna be integrating with is HIPAA compliant. Um, it's called uh, Go High Level. Uh, there's actually a PT uh, that we're gonna be introducing as well. Uh, he's gonna be leading that integration um, because he already has therapist using go, uh, go high level. Uh, so it's going to be a really cool integration. And um, last question here for now is, can you talk more about website integration? Yes. Yeah, so with website integration, uh, we're going to allow you to have a widget on your website. So the, uh, the widget will allow patients to, for example, schedule an appointment for you without needing to log into Hello Note. So what that means is they can click a link on your website. It'll take them to a little section that says book an appointment. They click book appointment, and it's going to filter out the, the availability that you or any other therapist have. So we're going to have a setting to control availability, and we're going to block out any times that are already booked on the schedule. So patients will be able to book directly on your website, and then as they book, it's going to send you an email and then plot them right on the Hello Note schedule as well. So, uh, so that's something to look out for. Um, some more questions came in. Um, so I know you mentioned still using CardPoint. Will CardPoint be on Hello Note 
with 2.0 or, or do I still need to go to a separate web page to get card point to process payments? So no, so the integration, the new integration we're working on is actually going to allow you to do everything within Hello Note 2.0. No need to actually go into card point or anything like that. So that's, um, that's cool. And let's see, specific home exercise program you are integrating with. Uh, so currently we're integrated with uh, My Rehab Connection, but we do have uh, another home exercise program we're working on integration with. So we're going to announce that a little bit later once the integration uh, does happen. Um, let's see. So we're going to, uh, just to be fair with time for everyone, uh, we'll take a few more questions. And of course, you can email us at hello at hellonote.com if you have any kind of additional questions or if you're not a current client, you want a demo, um, please reach out and we'll be happy to do that. So another question is, will new patients be able to schedule on widget? Will we be able to uh, make saved credit card required? So yes, the integration with the website will include a schedule widget. So patients will be able to schedule. And then will we be able to make saved credit card required. So, so yeah, so once you put in the credit card in Hello Note with the new integration, it's going to save it. Uh, but you, you need to make sure that on your consent forms for patients that it's mentioned that you will save credit cards uh, just for compliance. But yes, we will be able to save the credit cards. Uh, another question is CardPoint the only credit card integration or can you use other credit card services? So right now, um, card point is the only integration. Um, if you have any questions on them or any issues, please reach out to us because they, you know, we, we have resolved a few kind of client issues if anything uh, came up. So if there's any issue that you have or questions about it, reach out to us and we'll facilitate that. And will we have PayPal as an option for payment? Um, not something that we, we had many inquiries on with PayPal. But if it's something you need, we'll be happy to explore an integration uh, with PayPal. All right, so, so it looks like uh, we tried to answer as many questions as possible. Lisa did answer a lot of questions in the chat. So, so yes, uh, thank you all for joining. Um, you know, appreciate your time on this and the recording will be sent. And we look forward to launching the full version of Hello Note 2.0. Uh, we also look forward to meeting a lot of you at the Hello Note launch party. And I do want to also mention, because I do know there are people on this meeting that are thinking about starting their practice or they're in the initial stages of starting the practice. So we do work with Next Level with Tara Welke. Um, she is amazing at making sure that you can grow and build your practice. Okay, she has tons, tons, tons of testimonials on that. Uh, whether you need help with marketing, referrals, hiring, compliance, just book a call with her. Okay, book a call. Um, again, we are all therapists and we have one goal. We want to help our patients and we can't help patients if the community doesn't help us. So Kara's program really does an amazing job just to make sure that you are on the right track. At the very least, just take the call. She actually has a new... A uh, new program out. Um, she revised her business builder program um, uh, with level one, level two. So highly recommend that. And you also get a discount with uh, on Hello Note with her program. So definitely reach out, uh, reach out to us, and we'll connect you. Um, and yeah, so thank you very much, everyone. Um, again, appreciate it. Appreciate everyone that joined. And if you have any questions, reach out, and we look forward to rolling out the next uh, phase in Hello Note and starting the new chapter. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, Greg. Thank you, Lisa, uh, for being on this meeting. Thank you.